I got all these random autographed football cards. I wonder if I can get something for this Gary Huff. Hmm. Hello. Is this Larry the Media Marauder? Hey, this is Scott at Reindeer Studios. How are you, sir? Great. Hey, I was calling because I have this 1975 Gary Huff card. I think it belongs in your collection. Yeah. Oh, you already have three of them. Oh. Well, then you need a fourth, right? I'm thinking I could part with it for $800. You found that funny, did you? Okay. Well, I'll cut to the chase. How about $75? No. All right. What if I throw in a charcoal drawing of your buddy, Major Harris? Sweet. All right. I'll have that done in about three minutes. All right. We'll talk to you, Larry. Bye-bye. Hey, superstars. I wish it only took three minutes. Welcome back to the quest for my Holy Grail card. In case you have no idea what's going on, this is my series where I'm trying to sell off worthless cards for exorbitant amounts of money so that I can eventually buy my Grail card, a T206 Cy Young portrait. But to make it work, I'm including some original art. We're traveling in uncharted waters this week. Media Marauder has asked me to draw a college football Hall of Famer, West Virginia quarterback, and his good friend, Major Harris. You know my bread and butter is baseball, but this seemed like a fun project, so I was happy to give it a shot. My biggest issue is that I didn't have a Major Harris football card to try to pretend to sell to Larry. I do have to admit, I don't know much about Major Harris. Wikipedia says he was an American R&B singer associated with the Philadelphia Soul Sound and the Delphonics. His biggest hit as a solo artist was Love Won't Let Me Wait, and then I realized I was looking at the wrong Major Harris on Wikipedia. The football Major Harris played for West Virginia from 1987 to 89 with an undefeated regular season in 88, leading the Mountaineers to the Fiesta Bowl where he got a little banged up and lost to Notre Dame. Major was a dual threat quarterback. In 1988, while playing against Penn State, he forgot what play he called in the huddle and when the ball was snapped, everyone went one way and Major went the other. He eluded a bunch of tacklers like a greased pig at the Hernando County Fair and scored a touchdown. That play went on to become known as The Play. A real crack team of writers worked on that name for sure. After college, he was drafted by the Raiders, but decided to play in the CFL and then arena football and minor league football. And now he's friends with Larry the Media Marauder. Hey, it's time for a bad joke. I googled West Virginia jokes and they weren't very nice at all, but I did find this one that has nothing to do with anything, so it's perfect. Did you hear that Will Smith went on a big crime spree, but the police can't prove anything yet? Because they're still looking for fresh prints. Larry told me that he was going to try to get this one signed by Major Harris, which I think would be pretty dang cool. I used to be a little weird about making art for people to get signed. I, I, I can't quite explain why, though, but I'm not weird about it anymore. I think it's kind of neat now, and I can't quite explain why I changed my tune on that. Uh, but I am rambling. I'm a rambler, but not a Loyola rambler, because we're talking about a West Virginia Mountaineer, but I'm not a Mountaineer either. I went to art school, and we didn't have a mascot or sports teams. And uh, I'll quit yapping now. Uh, there he is. Thank you so much, Media Marauder. Larry's got a great channel. He gets tons of TTMs and also shares what he picks up from thrift stores and sells on eBay. It's really fascinating stuff, and he's a fascinating guy, so go check him out. We are getting closer and closer to my Grail card, which is awesome. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, 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 and we will catch you next time.